Have you been told that you need to invest five or eight or 10K in yourself in order to um, make a decent results and to take your business off the ground when you're just starting and um, maybe in, get a loan or pay with your credit card? Um, only when you pay so much, you will do the work and um, that's what is going to push you and that's when you're going to get re results. I know plenty of people who did courses for 10, 20K and didn't have the results. And let me tell you something because I've been in that situation. I have started in business in 2013 and I started with network marketing. Obviously, that was a low cost investment and I've been super committed and I did the work and I've been promoting with going with leaflets, branding myself, doing the work and I didn't have the results. People were just vanishing from my team or my clients because there was no consistency. Anyway, so I also went into a variety of network marketing businesses with like bills and, and insurances, etc. And later I uh, been into a, uh, I invested heavily in property investing training as well, uh, which um, I have gained, gained enormous knowledge about property investing, but, uh, and I've been pushed and I mean pushed to bits and I've heard the soap stories of the person that was running a training, crying because they were on the edge and they were about to lose the house or whatever, or, or in divorcing, etc. And they did that one training and it has changed their mindset when they went all in. And that's how they, uh, some of the sales technique, unfortunately, push people to invest, um, to invest money on the next training, next training, um, because you still don't know something and you need to know another tip. And, um, and it actually uh, pushes people to go into massive debt, investing in a training. And later, they don't have money to invest in a property. Please call your banks to increase your credit. Please call your friends and family and people who have the money to see if you can, if you can invest their money in the, in the property. I had enough. After four years um, of, of investing and learning about property investing, I actually was uh, using, I, I could not um, spend any more money on the property investing training. So I started to use my knowledge in order to help others. Uh, with variety of different property um, services that I offer, having my architectural background, it just made sense. But what happened was, is um, I've been running a property um, management of a refurbishment, uh, a refurbishment project of a property, and it didn't go well. And I had no contingency plan, and I it started my anxiety story. It started my panic attacks. Be and I managed to get out of it, but it caused enormous problems. And I, and I felt super bad because um, my client actually um, had a problem with the builder. But in the end of the day, it was not my decisions that um, went on and on. Uh, and the builder that I was working with, unfortunately, excuse my friend, fuck up the job and uh, didn't finish it. So um, it was only, I felt, I felt responsible and I didn't manage to, to actually help them out and they actually started to to fight with each other so i had no say really so anyway but that was the property uh, investing trainings um, later on i started in affiliate marketing in 2017 with my leftover uh, credit possibility i invested in another high ticket affiliate marketing uh, course that i truly believed um, that uh, meant to provide me with a uh, six figures in 90 days blah uh, and unfortunately, it didn't because the company has been shut down for making such a claims because no one knows what circumstances you have. No one knows. Um, uh, no one can predict what sort of time you will be able to allocate. You, no one can tell you that you are a victim. And if you are not investing in yourself, that you are not committed, because if you are committed, you're going to do it regardless of whatever, uh, what, uh, whoever says, um, whatever they're going to say to you. So don't uh, don't let anyone tell you that you are not committed if you're not investing in yourself. And please, I'm begging you, please do not ever invest five, 10, get loans, get cre crazy credit in order to in invest in your uh, personal development in order when you are starting. There is a time and place to actually invest that sort of money in order to get, to get to the next level. But you need to have the basic level first. You need to be able to pay your bills, first of all, so if you are struggling with your current job and uh, paying for your normal living costs from month to month, please don't take another loan or a credit in order to invest. And that's going to be your last hope to in order to make it to have a better life, because um, there are three resources and you need to have a basic fundamental knowledge about business, about mindset, about entrepreneurship, about decision making, risk taking, etc. 
but certain risks are not worth taking because people who are selling you the courses are they asking you are you actually meeting paying for your living costs will you be able to afford that loan or credit which will you will need to start paying back before you actually start having results and if you are starting off you probably won't have the results straight away and they cannot predict and you cannot predict what can happen in your family with your circumstances if the stress is going to start cringing you and it's going to start building up and it can cause um, physical health issues as well so um don't build don't add another, another stress level yes it is important to invest in yourself don't expect anyone to help you for free but there are reasonable costs and there are reasonable steps to take there are courses you can you can take multiple courses for 10 20 50 euros yes they're not gonna change your life as such for, and they're not gonna get you to the six seven figures that everyone is talking about but they're gonna give you improve your skills improve your mindset and step by step you can do it in your own time you can read books you can sign up to different blogs uh, you can read um you can you can um, listen to different podcasts and listen to successful stories etc get that motivation get that mindset get that fundamental knowledge from the free resources or the very low cost resources to start building it up see how you're doing okay have an idea for a business find your passion if you don't know you what your passion is it's gonna take you time so don't jump on straight away to to 5 10k investment level because that's for people who already have a working business or have a decent job and they can afford that credit or loan it's not wise and property investors who invest not their own money okay property investors or whoever they usually don't invest their own money they what is what is used is opm others uh, other people money okay and yes that is true but they have an exit strategy and they can afford the risk they can they can lose it because it's not going to affect their lifestyle it's not going to affect their paying of their bills no no wise person invests the money that they have for the rent or for the mortgage so do not ever get into that trap don't get into the um, uh, trap of the, the mental trap that they're creating that you are not committed if you're not investing that much money yes it will push you to do the work and if you if you will willing just bear in mind it's gonna take time and you cannot predict what's gonna happen so don't expect return on investment if you invest like 5 10k that is gonna guarantee you the results because there is no such a thing what you need is increase the skills you need the fundamental knowledge and there is a time and place to invest 5 to 10k in yourself or in your business in order to go to the next level but you need to be able to afford the minimum and you cannot risk that sort of uh, money so whatever money you take out from the from the bank from the credit or or a loan be able make sure that you are able to pay for it and don't expect the results maybe put it this way because yes you need to do the work you need to be um expected to that but at the same time you what, what i came across is like doing some of those courses actually make me realize that even if i'm committed and i and i'm trust me i am committed i am very persistent and i'm very stubborn and I really will achieve what well, I usually achieve all my goals, right? Um, the problem is, it's like sometimes those people will tell you something that not that it's a, it, it will be outside your comfort zone, but the question is if it's going to be aligned with your personal values. Will you be able to charge someone or make a hard sales call for and, and get the money of the people who really str are struggling and tell them that they are victim because they're not investing in themselves? Mm -mm -mm. I was working as a kitchen designer in, in one particular company in UK and um, I had two managers who were really after me and there was every two weeks there was a sale and I had one client who were on benefits and they were really struggling with their basic needs so they had a budget. I worked with that budget and unfortunately the cheapest kitchen that I designed just to tick the boxes really but because they needed a new kitchen and it went over the budget the budget was like, was like 7,000 uh, pounds and the the budget for the kitchen was um like 700 or 800 over what my manager said is oh just take this and this of the of the um, of the quote and we will add it later when we will check it and we will just tell them and i was like what the heck those are those uh, was an elderly couple living on benefits having the budget and struggling month to month and I just could not do that. But obviously, if I wouldn't do that, I would have lost the job, which I really could not afford at the time. So I did that. But trust me, I was not working in that company for too long. I just quit. I found a different job and I quit because I could not earn money and make the sales for the company. So do my job if it was not aligned with my ethical values. It's just not me. So I would never charge anyone 
uh, and I will make sure that they are okay with the monthly costs. So if you are ending, will end up working with me, if you need some, some guidance, I can send you some free resources that you should start with. We'll find out where, where you are at the moment, whether in business or mindset wise, what's your situation like. And I will never make you an offer of something that you cannot afford. And I will never call you a victim because I will never understand fully your circumstances because you will never tell me everything. And, and I can, you, sometimes you won't be even uh, knowing what's your mindset like and how long it will take. Maybe there is some traumas from the childhood or you were abused or, or whatever that is, or, or something will happen in your family and you suddenly won't be able to put the time and effort, even if you're willing to, and you will feel guilty and that will eat you alive. And later when those bills will start accumulating and you will have the interest, it will, it will just be horrible experience. You will have build up the stress, the, the mental stress will cause health issues as well. It is not fun. I can tell you. So I'm begging you. This is my message for today. Do not invest on a credit card or a loan. If you don't have the income to support yourself on the basic needs and be able to afford it without the uh, return on investment. So don't expect that. This is the only time, the, the right time uh, for huge investment is when you already have a working business, you have profit that you can invest. Okay. And uh, make sure that whoever sells you anything uh, really um, finds out what your situation is like. And if you are starting off, start over lower courses, start building up your skill sets, start building up your mindset with books, with podcasts, with uh, with YouTube videos, there's plenty stuff. And trust me, there are lots of ideas online for how to start a business. You need a fundamental knowledge. And once you start making some money, you can scale it. But there are courses for 100, 200, 500 pounds. If you can afford it, if you have money laying in a bank, of course, invest. But do not invest 10K <laughs> on a mindset program. That is not accredited because that's like a degree in a university nearly. So do not believe um, that when someone tells you that you are not committed, if you are not willing to invest in yourself, there's a time and place for big investment. And there is a time and place for a lower investment when you're starting. It's fine. Always uh, count what you can uh, always spend, what you can, what you can actually lose, uh, whether it is um, uh, crypto investing, whether it is um, investing in any sort of business or property bear that in mind and always have an exit plan that's what smart investors do at least those ethical ones and they will never ask for your money if you don't understand the risk of investing that's why in uk there is an F, um, fca F, yes financial code authority who makes sure that every investment company who advises people how to invest they making sure they understand the risk of investment so anyone who is asking you to invest in yourself they need to make sure that you can afford it and where you are in your business and where you are with your circumstances. So please protect yourself. Don't do silly investments. If you fancy talking about it, I'm happy to talk. Let's see where you are. And I can suggest always uh, the free resources. If you are happy to, to invest in yourself a little bit for a consultation that will take you step by step uh, on a pay as you go plan or whichever, whatever is uh, affordable for you at the moment. I'll make sure like I will not force you to, to pay for anything if you cannot afford it. If you will need to take a break, we cannot expect the circumstances like that. So just make sure that um, whatever you invest in is right for you at the right time. Don't ever let anyone diminish your, your circumstances or, or your mindset or whatever you want. If you are committed, you're going to make it. I know that. So... Uh, that's it. For, that's my message for today. I was just super passionate about uh, watching some, some webinars I, and I did plenty of courses in the past and heard that many, many times and I just cannot stand it. So I made it my mission to actually help people who were in my situation uh, like I was when I was starting. So um, I would like to help you if that uh, message resonates with you and you're thinking about investing or, um, or starting a business or you need some guidance on resources and what sort of knowledge you may need and, and what would be your next step. Um, please come and talk to me or just comment, um, uh, comment in the, under the video. Let me know if you want to chat. I will reach out to you. No worries at all. Um, and comment live and comment replay. Uh, hashtag live, hashtag replay if you're watching live or if you're watching replay. That's it from me from to, for today. And I hope to speak to some of you later on. And I wish you a wonderful day or a evening or a night, wherever, wherever you are in the world. Bye.